नेक्स्ट ट्रेडिंग दी पिन बार कैंडल स्टिक विद दी ट्रेंड इफ यू आर अ बिगनर ट्रेडर आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू टू स्टिक विद दी ट्रेंड बिकॉज पिन बार दैट अगर इन ट्रेडिंग मार्केट ऑफर गुड ट्रेडिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी विथ हाई रिस्क रिवॉर्ड रेशियो वेन यू मार्क वेन यू मास्टर ट्रेडिंग इट विद दी ट्रेंड यू कैन देन मूव टू ट्रेड रेंज बाउंड मार्केट एंड इवन काउंटर ट्रेंड्स स्ट्रेटेजी इज सिंपल यू स्टार्ट बाई आइडेंटिफाइंग अ क्लियर अप ट्रेंड और डाउन ट्रेंड एंड यू वेट फॉर अ पिन बार टू अकर आफ्टर अ फुल बैक टू सपोर्ट अ रेजिस्टेंस लेवल सी द एग्जाम्पल बिलो द फिगर एव शोज हाउ द प्राइस एक्सल सिग्नल वर्क if it is in a trade with the trend as you can see the price was rejected from the resistance level which indicates that the bears are still in charge of the down trend the formation of the pin bar indicates the end of the retracement move and the beginning of impulsive move at the resistance level in line with the down trend this is a high quality setup because all the following criteria are respected one the pin bar is well formed and it is in line with the direction of the market second the rejection occurred is a major key level which represents a hot point in the market resistance level third the risk of the risk to reward ratio is good and it is worth trading sometimes even if the market is trending we can't draw support and resistance level because price moves in a certain way which we can't spot static key level if you are in this situation you can use the 21 moving average which will act as a dynamic support in an uptrend market and a dynamic resistance in a down trend market see the illustration below you can see in the chart above the market were trading down using the 21 moving average helps us to identify dynamic resistance level and high probability pin bar setup see another example the four hour chart above illustrates how the 21 moving average could help us find key points in the market when prices approach the moving average the buying pressure takes place in the market and the price goes up the pin bar signal is clear on the chart because the trend line is bullish the price action setup has a bullish anatomy as well and the rejection from 21 moving average is a confirmation signal to buy the market trading tactics when we identify the trend up trend or down trend and the level of support resistance and we find a pin bar near these levels in line with the direction of the trend the second step is to know how to enter the market based on candlestick pattern according to my experience there are different entry options when it comes to trading pin bars it all depends on candle anatomy the market conditions and your money management strategy one the aggressive entry option this method contains cons uh, first the aggressive entry option this method consists of entering the market immediately the pin bar comes again according to my experience there are different entry option when it comes to trading pin bars it all depends on the candle anatomy the market condition and your money management strategy first the aggressive entry option this method consists of entering the market immediately after the pin bar closes without waiting for a confirmation this strategy will help you catch the move from the beginning because sometimes the price goes higher after the close of pin bar and if you are not in the market a trade will leave you leave without you the chart above shows how an aggressive entry could help you execute your trade in the right time without being left by the market and you and as you see we took this trade because we had three important elements first the trend 
the market was the trending down in this case we looked for selling opportunity second level in this chart we had support level that became becomes resistance third this signal a clear pin bar, bar was formed after the retracement back to the resistance level when you have these three elements in the market you just place your trade after the close of the pin bar and you stop and your stop loss above the long tail the profit target will be next support level in case of downtrend these three elements are quite enough for you to find high prob probability entries in the market second the conservative entry option this strategy consists of entering the market after 50 percent of the range bar retracement this strategy sometimes will work and it gives you more than 5 is to 1 risk reward ratio and sometimes the market will leave you without you see the restriction below the restriction above gives us an idea about the power of conservative entry as you can see this entry method helps you decrease our risk and increase our reward the trade above has 5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio actually 1 is to 5 risk to reward ratio the trade likes one trade like this every month is quite enough to generate a decent income see another chart below one of the drawback of this entry option is that the market sometimes doesn't retrace to the 50 percent of the range bar which will make you feel frustrated because the market will move to the profit target without you this is there is no wrong or right entry option the both work great but with screen timing and experience you will be able to decide whether to trade aggressively or conservatively next Trading pin bar with confluence. Confluence happens when many technical indicators generate the same signal. This trading concept is used by price action trader to filter the entry points and spot high probability signals in the market. It doesn't matter if you are a beginner or advanced trader. Trading with confluence is a must because it will help you focus on quality setup rather than quantity and it will enhance tremendously your trading performance. Confluence means combination or conjunction. It is a situation in which two or more things join or come together. For example, if we are looking for a pin bar signal, we need to find another factor of confluence to confirm our entry. We are not going to take any pin bar that we find on our chart. Factor of confluence. Factor of confluence can be the trend, support and resistance level, supply and demand area, moving average, Fibonacci retracement tool, trend line. Okay, so first, the trend. It is one of the most important factor of confluence. This is the first thing that most successful traders look for on their chart. You can't trade any setup without identifying if it is in line with the direction of the market or not. A bearish spin bar in a downtrend is more powerful signal than the one in a range-bound market. Support and resistance level or supply and demand area. These major levels have significant importance in the market because all big participants with this watch these specific areas for moving average i personally use the 8 and 21 moving average this is technical trading tool act as dynamic support and resistance it is a very important factor of confluence in trading market fibonacci retracement tool i use the 61 percent and 50 percent fibonacci retracement to find the most powerful area in the market next trade lines drawing trade lines on your chart give you an idea about the market direction and helps you find the most important reversal point in the market 
when you are when you are analyzing your chart you are not obligated to find all these areas to determine whether trade is valid or not if you can find just one or two factors of confluence that comes up together with a good pin bar setup this is quite enough to make a profitable trader for example an obvious pin bar signal near support or resistance level in line with the direction of the market see the example below in the example above we have a high probability set of with four factors of con confluence one the trend second the lever third the signal or another signal okay first the trend the market is trending up which means that we have to follow a trend and look for buying opportunity second the level the support level is an important key level in the market as you can see price broke out of the resistance level that becomes support and pulled back to it third the signal the formation of the bullish spin bar after the retracement back to the retracement level that becomes support fourth another signal the rejection of the pin bar from the support level and 21 moving average that acted, acted as a dynamic support level all these factors work together to give you powerful trading signal to buy the market see another example below the example below shows four confluence level that indicates a powerful trading signal the first factor is the bullish trend and the second one is the resistance level that becomes the support. The third one is the 21 moving average that act as a dynamic support level. And the last factor is the pin bar formation near these levels in line with bullish trend. If you adopt this trading concept, you will completely change the way you perceive the market and you will start trading like a sniper, a sniper by waiting for the best trading setup to come. To you instead of trying hard to make trend happen next pin bar trades example i will give you some trading examples to help you understand how to trade the pin bar candlestick pattern with the trend and how to use the confluence concept to confirm your entry see the chart below in the nzd usd daily chart you can see the market is trade trending down this is the first information that we gather from this chart after the breakout of the support level that becomes resistance, the price retraced back to this level and formed a pin bar candlestick pattern. The formation of the pin bar near the resistance level that the resistance move is over and the beginning of an impulsive move is likely to happen. When you put the 21 moving average and the Fibonacci retracement on the chart, we see that the pin bar is rejected from this level which indicates that this level is very important and seller are willing to push the market lower here is this example here in this example we have solid reason to sell the market the first reason is downtrend the second reason is the formation of pin bar near the resistance level which indicates the end of the pullback and the beginning of new move downward. The third reason is the rejection of the pin bar from the resistance level and from 21 moving average. The last reason is the pin bar rejection from 50 Fibonacci retracement level, which is considered to be one of the most powerful key level in the market. Look at the chart below to see what happens next. As you can see in the chart above our analysis was right because it was based on solid reason to enter the market this is the method that i want you to learn to be able to trade the market successfully look at another chart below the chart above shows two important buying opportunity the market was trending up the formation of the first pin bar after the retracement back at the support level was a high probability entry what confirms our entry is the rejection from 21 moving average and the 50 Fibonacci retracement. The second time this happens with the second pin bar that allows us to enter the market again and make more profit.
trading pin bar in range bond markets. We can say that market is ranging when price don't make any higher high or higher low and start trading horizontally between a definable level of support and definable level of resistance. Once I see that the market change with behavior, I have to change my tactics and adopt a trading strategy that fits this new market condition. To confirm a ranging market, I have to look for at least two touches from support level and two touches from resistance level. And once it have identified the range, then it becomes very simple to trade it by going long when price reaches the support level and going short when prices approaches the resistance level. See below an example of range bond market. As you see, as price approaches the key support or resistance level, we have an opportunity to buy or sell the market. We need just to wait for a clear price action setup such as pin bar candlestick. Look at the illustration below. The illustration above shows us three trading opportunities. Let me explain you how you can trade them successfully. The first one is a pin bar rejected from the support level. You can place a buy order after the pin bar closes or you wait for the market to touch the 50% of the pin bar range. Your stop list should be placed above this support level or the profit target must be placed near the resistance level. The risk to reward trade, uh, the risk reward of this trade is very attractive. The second trading opportunity occurs when the support level the second trading opportunity occurs near the support level. The second trading opportunity occurs near the support level. You place a buy order after the close of the pin bar or your and your stop loss should be below the support level. Your profit target is in the next resistance level. The third setup is an obvious buying opportunity or you can see as you can see the market was rejected from the support level and informed a pin bar to inform us that buyers are still there and the market is likely to bounce from the support level the trading from major key support and resistance level is the easiest way to make money trading raise bond market don't ever try to trade any setup if it is not strongly rejected from these areas the second strategy is about trading in the direction of the breakout of major key level and waiting for price to retrace back to the breakout point and then you go long or short the market. See the example below. The figure above illustrates a raised bond market. The price broke out of the support level and retraced back to the point of the breakout. And the formation of an obvious pin bar indicates a high probability signal to short the market. This is how Professor Trader trade range the market based on the price action signal. How to confirm pin bar signal using technical indicators? Using technical indicators to confirm your entry will increase your probability of the trade being profitable. I am not telling you that you have to focus on indicators to generate signals, but this will never work for you because this will never work for you. Again, I am not telling you that you have to focus on indicators to generate signals because it will never work for you. But if you can combine your price action strategy with the right indicator, you will be able to filter your signal and trade the best setup. Let me take you some practical example. So as you can see here, it was in a range. Okay, and uh, I was expecting that if it breaks out, I will take a buy trade and it broke out, but I didn't place the order here and I am depleting it. Secondly, this was also a range. You can see it was in a range going within a range then it broke out of the range. And here it is also supporting the 21 moving average pin bar i enter to the trade here 
So now coming to Euro CAD. Should I take the thread? Let me decide. So how to confirm pin bar signal using technical indicators? Using technical ind indicators to confirm your increase will increase your probability of the trade being profitable. I am not telling you that you have to focus on indicators to generate signal because this will never have uh, because this will never work for you. But you can combine your price action strategy with the right indicators. You will be able to filter your signals and trade the best setup. One of the best indicators that I use to confirm my entries when I examine a range bound market is Bollinger Band indicators. This technical indicating tool was developed by John Bollinger to measure a market's volatility. The strategy is very simple. We will combine horizontal support and resistance with the upper and lower bowling band pulse breakout. <clears throat> if price are rejected from major key levels and from the bands, from the bands, this is a confirmation that market will bounce from these levels. See an example below. If you look at the chart above, you will notice how bowling bands act as a dynamic support and resistance when the market approaches the upper or lower band price bounce strategy. So if we see that a pin bar is rejected from the horizontal key level and from bands, this is a clear confirmation to buy or sell the market. The confirmation strategy is very simple. It will help you decide whether to take a trade or ignore it. Because trading is all about emotions and sometimes you will spot a nice pin bar signal in a range bound market, but you will find it difficult to make a decision. What you have to do in this case is simple. You just put your Bollinger band on your chart and you see that signal is rejected from horizontal level from the band. Don't overthink about what you should do next. Just execute your trade, place your stop loss and profit target that stays away and let the market do what the work for you. If you look at the chart above, you will notice how the Bollinger bands act as a dynamic support and resistance. When the market approaches the upper or the lower band, price bounces strongly. So we see that a pin bar is ejected from the horizontal line, horizontal key level and from bands. This is clear confirmation to buy or sell the market. This confirmation strategy is very simple and it will help you decide whether to take the trade or ignore it. Because trading is all about emotions and sometimes you will spot unnecessary and sometimes you will spot a nice pin bar signal in a range bound market but you will find it difficult to make a decision. What you have to do in this case is simple. Just put your ball, uh, Bollinger bands on your chart. And if you see the signal is rejected from the horizontal level and from the bands, don't overthink about what you should do next. Just execute your trade, place a stop loss and profit target, then stay away and let the market do what the work for you. See another illustration below. The daily chart above shows us how this indicator could help us execute our, our trades with confidence. The first breakout of the resistance level that was made by the pin bar. The false breakout of the resistance level that was made by the pin bar was a powerful signal to sort the market. The trade was confirmed by the false breakout of the upper band as well as remember that this technical indicator is used just as a confirmation tool in the range bond market. Don't use it to generate signal, use it to always in combination with horizontal key level and you will see how this strategy will affect positively your trading account. In conclusion, I recommend you to practice these strategies as much as you can before you open and fund your trading accounts.